In this lesson, we're going to introduce some of the simple formulas we've learned previously to a spreadsheet. And we're going to introduce some useful commands as we're going along. Right, I have a simple spreadsheet in front of me. It's for our steam train special, which ran on February the 4th, 2012. And it's an account for that train. So what we did was we ran a dinner service on the train. And we have on the left hand side the income. So the sales generated from ticket sales, dinners, wine, bottled beer and soft drinks. So that will create our income and our outgoings. We had the track access cost, staff wages which are on the right hand side and we need to total up, the food we spent, the wine, the beer and the soft drinks. Now what we're going to do is we're going to calculate our income using formulas, calculate our staff wages and then our staff wages is going to go into our outgoings to calculate our costs and then we'll get the profit. As you may have noticed our income is already in pound sterling and we've got a pound sign there. So what I need to do first off is change our values in our outgoings to its currency. If I select cell J6, up in the numbers, I've got general and third one down, currency. If I click on this, Excel remembers that we've been working in pound sterling, and so pound sterling is my default currency. But I can change the currency. So if I select the ones below, food, wine, beer and soft drinks, the cost of those and up to the accounting number format. Click on there for the drop down menu. I can change that to US dollars, euros and then back to pounds. So we can change and put currencies in wherever we want. Staff wages, select all those cells from P6 through to P12 and again up to our currency, make those all pounds. Our spreadsheet's nearly complete for all the values that we need to do our calculations. But there's only going to be one lot of staff wages, so I'm going to click on cell I7 and put a 1 in there. When our wages are calculated I want the answer to go into J7 next to our staff wages. So if I click on there and a simple formula I can put in is equals and I want it to equal the total for the staff wages so I want it to equal the cell at P13. If I press the enter button, although it's got naught at the moment, when Excel has done the calculation for the total wages, our wages will go into J7. Back to our income, we want to calculate how much money we've made. So into where I've got subtotal, click on the cell there, it's E6. And the first thing we want for our formula is an equals. Now we need to multiply the number of dinners we've sold and the cost of each dinner. So 130 asterisk for our multiply 25 so that's the cell at C6 is 25. If I press our enter button our ticket sales are 3250 and there in the formula bar you can see the formula that we've got B6 multiplied by C6. So B6, 130 multiplied by C6, 25 pounds equals 3,250. Now I'm going to do something very sneaky now. Where that box is, if we move our cursor to the bottom right hand corner where we get this little black cross, if I drag that down to the box below and let go, the same formula 
So the multiplication of column B with column C is calculated without me having to fill out the formula. And Excel has realized that we're on the row below. So when I click on there, there's our formula B7 multiplied by C7 as opposed to B6 multiplied by C6. And if we select the whole lot that we want to multiply, Excel does the maths for us. If I click on the bottom for total income and then up to our auto sum, click on our auto sum, you can see all our cells with a marquee effect around them, the sum of E6 through to E10, which is the calculation we want. Press our enter button and there we have our total income. 6,766 pounds 57 pence. Now I want our income to come down here at the bottom for calculating our actual profit. So where I want the income, if I click on there and press the equals button and then select the cell at E11 press our enter, I've brought down the total income for our final calculation at the end. Now let's go across to our wages and again this is a simple sum to calculate the entire amount of wages for the driver, the driver assistant, the guard, chef, assistant chef, wine waiter and three waitresses. So we select the cell at the bottom of our column of wages and again up to auto sum there's our different values in the marquee effect, so our marquee effect where our different values are selected. So we've got the sum of P6 through to P12, press the enter key, 735. And now look, where we put that in earlier on, 735 goes into our costs. If I select that and just turn that into currency, 735 pounds. So we need now to total up our outgoings. Equals cell at I6 asterisk cell at J6. Press our enter and we've got a thousand. And again if we use the black cross if we bring them all down, Excel does the calculations for us. Now we want the total cost. So again, up to our auto sum, one click on auto sum, there's our calculation. The sum of L6 through to L11, press our enter button and it comes to £3,180.70 and now we want to bring this down to our cost press the equals so that our cost is equal to L12 and if we click on L12 press our enter £3,180 pounds 70 brought down and our profit is another formula equals the cell at E15 this time minus the cell at E16 press our enter and a profit of 3,585 pounds 87. Thanks very much.